Hi, I'm Liz Krupa. I'm a physical therapist here at the Riverwood Center, and I'm standing in our physical therapy gym. This is where we see the vast majority of our customers who need help with their functional activities. Functional activities can be things as simple as rolling in bed or going from lying down to sitting, also can be transferring from their bed to their wheelchair, or more high-level activities such as walking and balance activities. If they are having a problem with strength or if they're having a problem with balance, we have to come up with ways that they can follow our instruction and we can achieve the goals we want. For example, if we want to work on standing balance, we can do things as simple as holding on to bean bags and having them throw them into a bucket because as they pick the bean bag up and throwing, they're moving their arms away from their body and they're challenging their balance. Another thing we like to work on is strength. And strength is very important. In fact, studies show that having good lower body strength is the number one positive thing that will keep you from falling. So one of my favorite activities is the sit to stand activity. That's not only a functional skill that they need to do, but it also strengthens the lower body by lifting their whole body weight. The things that they have there are specifically designed to improve a patient's mobility, well-being, and independence. The main goal I think that the rehab department looks for is to help you become more independent for yourself. So everything we do is goal oriented and our goals here and actually any physical therapy goals should be functionally oriented. The therapists when they work with you they try to encourage you to, to go a little farther or push you a little farther. They don't give up on you but they want you to do what you can do. They don't try to push it to, to a point where you be tired or you, you, or you get discouraged or what you're doing. They're trying to make things more comfortable for you. And when, the, when you get comfortable in your comfort zone, then you can be able to do things. That's their they job. I, I appreciate them for pushing me the farther they did. And what I gained from them and what they taught me and things I have to do when I'm not in therapy, they helped me a lot since I've been here. They, got, they open hands to you.